What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today and today I have a very exciting model unboxing for you all. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Gemini 200 1 to 200 scale Delta Airlines Airbus A220 300. This is the latest release and I'm really excited to dive into this and I hope all of you are as well. Without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started everyone. With the Gemini 200 here in the top left, there's the Delta titles there in the middle. You got the CGI of the 220 right there, Airbus A220 300. Here are the sides of the box. No right home moments besides that looks really nice. It says 2022 on it. That sounds about right, although it could be a 2023. I'm not sure. I was actually very fortunate that my parents gifted me this for my birthday in 2024. So feeling very fortunate for that and a huge thank you to them. So that's why I don't know exactly what release it is, but I need to check the Model Aircraft database to gain a better understanding of what that's all about. That being said, here it is. Now, as you can tell, it doesn't sit very well on the stand, so I'm trying to get the balance because if I put it on there like all the way, then it weighs down the stand too much, but then if I don't put it on there enough, then it tilts back too far. So that's the only major, see, you can see what it tried to do right there. That's the only major downside about these stands is that they, well, it's kind of <laughs> very irrelevant, but they unfortunately just cannot hold a bunch of weight. These A220s are very nice diecast aircraft, obviously, and as a result, they kind of need some better support platforms. So as much as I love Gemini Jets, I would give them a very kind, constructive criticism recommendation of investing a little bit more into the stands because while this does work for some of the other narrow bodies like the A320 family, for example, there are narrow bodies like the A320 or A220 and others that really can't, you know, exhibit this. So that being said, here's the model. It is super nice. This is a 305 Delta uniform. So it's the sister ship, the one, the 400 I got a couple years ago. So yeah, feeling fortunate to have this. And again, a huge thank you to my parents. Uh, I don't have many 1 200 Deltas. I just have the MD80 widget. So yeah, here it is everyone. And as you can tell, it's a absolutely stunning aircraft. Really cool to finally have another Delta 1 the 200 in the fleet here and feeling very fortunate for this. So with all that being said, we won't waste any further time and go ahead and dive into the individual components of the airframe. So let's go ahead and take a look. It's a really nice model. So the A220 mold's really cool. We previously saw the Breeze example that I have. So crazy to think now 1200, I'm getting some same aircraft types. So yeah, this looks really nice. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Here's the cockpit windows right here along with the nose cone. Really good curvature, really good proportions. This is really nice. So definitely a big fan of how that looks. It's really cool. Got some pitot tubes here in the front and then you get the Sky Team logo right there as well. So all that looks really nice. Got some panel details there and here's the L1 door. So you can see we have the lever along with the window and then some other various pieces here. Here's the nose landing gear that's really nice. Got the nose landing gear door along with the actual nose landing gear itself. The struts really great. And then you also have the hub piece, which is nice and the tires. So all that came together very nicely and definitely goes to show what a 1-200 aircraft is capable of looking like so here's the sticker right here i'm not exactly sure which one this is but you know delta gets so many awards so it's probably one of those i would presume for you and the news stations or equivalent you got the delta airlines billboard titles right there and then you can see up here we have the first class section which is pretty cool let me gently scoot this across with the kind of flimsy stand for this heavy of an aircraft so first class up here you have a nice designation there some rows so that's pretty cool you also got comfort plus in here as well so definitely cool to see the various pieces to the puzzle on that here starts the navy it starts out strong and then it comes throughout and then it comes to the back so we'll take a look at that once we get back there but yeah the antennas look great here's the beautiful engines they sound so marvelous every time here at 220 so let's get a nice look at those Pivoted around, you can all see a good look at the main landing gear. That's the other deal in the stand too. You also, I can't get the aircraft to really properly stand up on it as well. There we go, that's much better. But anyway, you can see the fan blades there. They look pretty nice, so cool to see that. And I don't believe they spin, which is perfectly acceptable for an aircraft of this magnitude. I tilt it back just a little bit though, because we need to see the actual frame itself. Okay, so looking very nice there. There's the main landing gear once again with the really great struts and all that looks really great. Uh, leading edge of the light isn't present, but we do have these slats and then we got the flaps and speed brakes back here. Really good angle here so you can see exactly what's going on. So pretty strong in there. Overall looks really nice. I really like that overwing exit right there. It's very cool. The really thin emergency exit pad is very unique to the 220. We'll get a top down look at that here in a moment. You also have the beacon right there, which is really cool there in the middle. And then of course you got the back two antennas. It's a pretty basic livery, of course, not too much to it. So Apologies for not much fluff there, but there really isn't much to report on, unfortunately. But we do have the really nice antennas back there. And we do have the stubby one on the bottom as well, so that's pretty cool. Got all the economy seats in the back. I think these hold 32 rows or so, so definitely pretty sufficient there. 
And then of course we got the US flag and then the registration November 305 Delta uniform. Pretty standard there for Delta 220 when the first one's delivered. You also have the tail back here with the color on it's really great, really great maroon hybrids colors there and that orange red or whatever that would be designated as. You also have the fleet code of 8305, so that's pretty cool. Got the panel detail down there as well. And then we got the horizontal stabilizers along with the APU. So that looks really nice. And overall, that's really cool. So very great to see that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the right side of the aircraft. This aircraft doesn't fall off the stand in the process. This is a really great view. So you can see what the baggage door looks like. It is very nice. And I think they did a really good job with the details and the various pieces to the puzzle on that one. So once again, cool to see that. And you also got a smaller door, or I think the door is actually the same size. It just proportionally looks kind of goofy without that logo next to it. So that's perfectly fine. Middle of the aircraft, again, looks pretty great. So no major observations there. Besides that, looks really nice. Let's also get a good look at these winglets, by the way. These are pretty cool. So. Nice to see those, and here's another nice view. And then let me go ahead and show you that emergency exit pad from this angle because this is a really good vantage point. You can see how thin it is. It's pretty interesting, but definitely gets the job done. I'm just really surprised. You have all this real estate to work with and you choose to make it as the, the width of a human. But hey, that's perfectly fine. If that's how we get the people off and as efficiently and safely as possible, then with the safety as number one priority, I have no issue with it. You can see the baggage door back there as well, so pretty strong to see that, and then all the characteristics we talked about previously, so pretty cool to see that. No macro mode, hooray to that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top of the frame. Here's that beacon. You can really see how thin those emergency exit slides are now. I'm not really a very good, or the pipe pylon's the best comparison there for the width, so pretty impressive. Wing detail is really good, so nice to see that, and ultimately it is a really nice aircraft, so great to see it and ultimately it looks really nice so definitely another great look of it right there let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom of the aircraft you have the delta underbelly there i'm just gonna go ahead and take that off so you can see what we're talking about you got the delta underbelly which looks really nice you got the main landing gear there are no gear ups on the 220 and 200 so don't expect that if you do buy one of these but that's not a big lack it's just how it is you got the air inlets there as well and then you got the main landing gear which looks nice there as well and then you got the stand hole right there right over the e which again definitely get a little bit better of a stand if you want to display it i wouldn't put this up on the top row of the shelf just because of it's a little flimsy and that's just the reality of it it's okay for crjs and other aircraft like that but as for an airbus 220 that's a pretty substantial weight it you know definitely checks out to being like a 747 or 1 to 400 you don't want to just throw it on the stand and call it good especially with how big it is i mean here's my hand for a comparison as you can tell it is definitely a pretty substantial size Otherwise though, it's a really nice aircraft. Very glad to have it in the fleet today. And a huge thank you to my parents once again. They picked an awesome one here and excited to take a look at a couple others that they got as well. Feeling very fortunate. And yeah, just an absolute honor and looking super forward to what's coming here in the near future. Hope each and every one of you enjoyed the unboxing as well and review of course, because it's a really nice aircraft. Just a cool head on look. Hopefully you can get some good perspective of how big the aircraft is. Looking at these different perspectives along with the table in the back kind of giving you a little bit of an idea too so definitely recommend it if you're able to get a 1 to 200 e220 they're beautiful planes and yeah just take a look at some angles because it is really cool and it looks very nice so again i really hope all of you enjoyed this this is a great aircraft and can't recommend it enough for anybody's collection with that being said that'll do it for today's video everybody thank you all so much for watching i want to thank each and one of you for watching my name is Drift aviation take it easy everybody stay safe trust process do you love and love you do my name is Drift aviation i want to thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all soon as Drift aviation is signing off. Oh.